let's look at GGMD A, A3, worksheet number two, dealing with cylinder volume calculations. So we've already established the volume is found by again BH using the same kind of an idea that uh, in all of our cylinders we're using uh, circular bases. And the idea would be to take one circular region and then stack it over that height. So one base times a height. In this case, the base will be a circular region, pi r squared, stacked over a given height. My favorite example of that is my coaster set from my house. Is uh, Here's my cylinder, and uh, I use the idea of finding one value, one circle, pi r squared, and then stacking it so many times to fill the region. Same idea here, here's a nice little cylinder. It would be about taking a slice of that, so a circular, and then stacking it over that region. That stacking principle helps me a lot remember these relationships. What I want to just talk about here is notation here um, about diameters and radii. Here you've got the full diameter shown with a dot, meaning it's broken it into the two radii. The eight centimeters is right over the dot. That's telling me the whole diameter is, uh, is 8 to them, not, not the radius. The radius would be 4. Here there is no dot to uh, center point to distinguish the break. So this is just simply a diameter of 10 centimeters. Here the center has been placed and the 4 centimeters is distinctively over to one side. This would be a radius of 4, a diameter of 8. You see the difference here, over the center, not, and so on. We're going to look at some examples under the elmo here in a minute. The classic is the toilet paper roll. And uh, the idea here, what I like to do with this, is find uh, this region here, this donut-like uh, shape, this, this flat donut-like shape, and then I like to stack it over the entire height. So let me just show you the idea of, of that. What I do, let's call the outer radius uh, R1 and the tiny inner radius R2. So to find the area of that, it would be pi R squared. It would be the big circle, right? Radius 1 is the big radius. Minus pi R squared, that would be minus the little one, right? So you, you take the whole value, and then we're going to subtract out that little middle piece, and we'd get this. And then you're going to multiply that number times h, because that disk, that disk gets stacked h times. Let's look at some examples, but it's a, it's a nice way to do it. Some students or other people, teachers, so, and so on, also like to do this, um, and maybe let me show you that too. You could also do it as a big cylinder minus a little cylinder. So you could do pi r squared h minus pi r squared h. In other words, this would find the big cylinder, and then this would subtract out the one inside. And that's another way to approach it. Same answer both ways. We'll take a look at under the Elmo. Again, a quick review of the cylinder. We've already talked about it in the previous time. But a cylinder, there are different types of cylinders in terms of the bases. But all the ones we deal with are circular bases. So the idea of uh, the volume of this is one circle stacked over a height. So just like the prism, basically you take one base and then you multiply it by the height. In this case, though, the base is always a circle times the height. And, and so this is your base and your height. There are other kinds of bases with cylinders, but everything we're going to deal with is, is a circle. And then the idea, is just as I've said here, is stacking circles over that group of time. And Cavalier's principle says that these would be the same. So a quick review of that. But really, we're in the business of calculations in this particular uh, worksheet and time period. So let's just look at these. This is very simple. Pi r squared, that's one base, 
times the height of 5. So this is 16 times 5 is 80 pi centimeters cubed. You just leave pi alone. 16 times 5 is 80, so 80 pi centimeters cubed. That's the exact answer. Here it's pi r is 3 this time. Uh, times 4, we get 9 times 4 is 36 pi centimeters cubed. Now we're getting into more interesting stuff. We've got two cylinders and then we got a hole right through the middle. So let's do the two cylinders first. Let's do the guy on the top there. So, well, let's do, no, the guy on the bottom. Pi r squared h plus pi r squared h minus pi r squared h. Let's see if this makes sense. The first cylinder has got 14, so half of that is 7. Height is 11. Got it. Next one. Um, diameter is 10, so 5 is the radius. Height is 5. Got it. Now I've got a hole, so I'm going to subtract out pi r. 1 is the radius. And the height is the 16. And you would combine um, all three of those values to get your answer, which you probably want me to do to get to uh, figure this out. So 49 times 11 is 539 pi. 25 times 5 is 125 pi. And this is just uh, minus 16 pi. Now they all have pi's. And so we can just subtract 539 pi minus 125 pi, oops, plus 125 pi, minus 16 pi is 648 pi centimeters cubed. Cool. Let's see if I got any more interesting ones. Um, I don't know if these are in that one's not interesting. These two are kind of interesting. Let me, let me at least talk theory on these ones. Here, actually, this is not interesting. All that you're missing is that this has got to be a 12, and now you can do it. You know, pi r squared h. That's all that thing is. All right, I like this one. Um, I'm going to do it in a kind of a cool way. Oh, hold on a second. So this is 8. This is 8. You're missing this, so that's 8 squared plus x squared equals 17 squared. You're going to find out that that's a 15 here. All right. I don't, know. I don't know what I want to do here. I'm going to do it as, as two pieces added together for one base. So that's 8 times 15 divided by 2 because that's a triangle. And then I'm going to add it to a fourth of a circle, pi r squared. All right, that's my base. <clears throat> Let's make sure you understand that that's my base. It's a triangle, one-half base times height. There it is added to a fourth of a circle, not a full, not a half, but a fourth of a circle, pi r squared. And then that whole thing, that funky, cool-looking half ice cream cone thing, is going to get multiplied by 11. So this is uh, 460, I believe. This is 64 divided by 4. This is 16. And then I'm going to multiply all that by 11. So 60 times 11 is 660. And 16 times 11 is 176 pi centimeters cubed. Cool stuff. I know. Let's look at just one more. We won't do this one for sake of time, but I like this. So I don't know. you got lots of cool things here. Um, I guess what I would do here, let's give you a strategy. I would find I would find this, okay, which is going to be a rectangle and like a half of a circle. I would subtract out this little thing here. Right? That will give you basically this thing. Oops, you can't see what I'm doing here. But basically it'll give you this this guy here, right? That would be your base. And then multiply that by eleven. So that's the theory I'm given here, is you're going to define one base value, this base value here. 
I would take this guy, subtract out half a circle to get that area, and then multiply it by 11 because that's how you get volume. Cool. I love this stuff.